He's, wow, the best defender I've had here. Really what he brings most is just he's got this unbelievable savvy. You gotta put your mind on it saying that I'm gonna play defense and you want to play defense. And he always stressed that if you don't play defense, you won't make the team. I didn't really have a good offense, and defense to me was the most comfortable spot to me when I really play. So I focused myself on defense more than I did offense, really. You can really put a instructional tape together, but you know, in terms of him watching defense. Playing defense, you know, hands in a passing lane, talking, very quick feet, you know, unselfish, he can guard the quick guy and, and he's strong enough to kind of guard the six three, six forward. He's really a great unselfish kid, you know, and, and, and we're really looking forward to having a great year. It's very, very common to have the class start with Brian. Um, if you were first thing straight off the bat that I noticed was his ability to pick up um, melodies and harmonies and accompaniments um, simply by ear. He's been a piano student of mine for three years and he is in the concert choir of the chamber singers and he sits in with varsity choir too to help out. I compose my own song with the piano and I play like a lot of the new stuff like John Legend and then a little bit of Jamie Foxx. I love them both so much it was just like natural for me just to play basketball and just do music. Being able to have him be kind of our role model currently for all the athletes to know that they can be musical and all, for all the musicians to know that they can also be, you know, very involved in athletics. He really does carry himself like there's not a care in the world. From the get-go he was, he was different because he was very mild-mannered, very Oh, I guess coachable would be the word. He, you know, some of the kids were like, you know, I'm just doing this because Coach, Coach Brooks says I have to do it. But Brian was sincere in his efforts. It felt real good, like I really accomplished something. Like, it was a lot of people, but I just felt good just being there and just running with him and being in his face, actually. Like, I felt like like I really like, done some major difference in my life and made, made a difference in what I'm accomplishing. We talked to him about being careful. It's your first time. Don't fail. You know, don't set yourself up for failure by going out too strong and wanting it too bad. Just go out and enjoy it. Race. He probably could have run 20 seconds faster if he would have pushed it to the edge, but that's not what we asked him to do. I don't know. I just always had that stamina, but, you know, that, that just came in front of me. I don't know where that came from. He's got a very good upside. He, he could get a lot better than her. He could drop another minute easy. He could be a mid-16 runner in, in a short period of time. So he's a diamond in the rough. Hey, I get the most satisfaction when I'm proud of myself for what I did that whole game. He's got that basketball body, if you know what I mean. He's long, uh, he's really quick, but really what makes him special is, is he's really a student of the game. That's one of the things I like about basketball. Like, you can learn something new right? every day. Really a kid, man, that has been very, very coachable. You get a kid a lot of times, man, that you really gonna miss. You know, and this this is just that kind of kid. Whatever he decides to focus on, he's gonna be successful.